Hello everyone, here is the second video solving the grade 8 national exam of the current year 2021. For today, uh, the first question it says if t equal to radical 7, then the simplified form of root 2 times in bracket root radical 18 minus radical 56. So we need to simplify and write this expression in terms of in terms of t. First of all, radical two will multiply each of them, and fifty six. Don't forget, it is same as seven times eight. In fifty six, there is seven. So our objective is to express in terms of t. So to do that, radical two in bracket, radical eighteen minus radical seven times eight. Or radical 7 times radical 8 we can do it it's better you can decompose when you are asked to simplify anything it's better to express in terms of that then radical 2 bracket radical uh, 18 minus uh, radical 8 t because radical 7 means it is t already given to you now multiply radical 2 radical 2 times it will multiply each of them uh, it will be radical 36 minus radical 2 times radical 8 will be radical 16 t then radical 36 will be 6 perfect square number minus 40 so this is going to be the answer which is found uh, at a the second question it is cube root cube root of 16 over 54 we can write this cube root as we can simplify we can simplify by 2 by 2 uh, 16 divided by 2 will be 8 and 54 divided by 2 will be 27. Then this is the same as 8 by itself is 2 cube. Now perfect cube number both of them. And 27 is 3 cube. Both of them in cube root. Don't forget. This is the same as 2 cube over 3 cube. It can be written 2 over 3 the whole cube. In the cube root. Now the cube and the cube root cancel each other. And 2 over 3 will be the answer. The answer is found at B. The next question, which one of the following number is not perfect square? 0 is the same as 0 square, 4 is the same as 2 square, and 1 is the same as 1 square. But negative, two, negative 4, we cannot write as a square of uh, a number. 0 means 0 times 0, 4 is 2 times 2, and 1 is uh, one means it's the same as 1 times 1. But negative 4, we cannot express as a product of two same number. We cannot say negative 2 times negative 2. Impossible because negative two times negative two will be positive four, so that uh, this is not the same. So the answer will be A. The next question. Okay, for the next question, uh, it says the area of the area of the region shown in the figure uh, below. There are two regions here. The below one is a rectangle, as you see. The length is from here to here given to you already eight. And the length from here to here it's already given to you six. And don't forget the whole length is from the upper to until the bottom here. This is given to you eight. Okay, uh, there are two figures anyways. We need to observe those figures are the upper part. It's a trapezium. Okay, this is a trapezium because the upper these two are parallel as you see. Trapezium. Uh, trapezium. This is the base one. We can take it as five given to you the upper part or the upper base is given to you base one which is five and the lower base here it is eight because this length and this length are equal we can take this as eight and the distance from here to here we can find it how from the whole height if you subtract six uh, that's going to be two so for trapezium uh, there are two two regions here rectangle this is a rectangle and this one is trapezium the upper part is trapezium okay let's make it clean here is trapezium and the roll part is rectangle so the area of the total is the same as the area of the rectangle plus the area of the trapezium that is the first point that we need to state and let's find area of rectangle very simple the area of rectangle you know it is base times width or length times width we can say length is times width the length is will be 8 from this to here it's given to you this is 8 and the width or the height length times height we can say mostly length times height we can say the height is given to us this height it's 
given to us six as you see so which is eight times six how many 48 done the lower part the lower region we got it uh, let's find area of trapezium the area of the trapezium you know the formula half times the height times base one plus base two base one means the upper base which is five and base two the lower base the angles from here to here which is eight the same as the lower base here because since it's rectangle the opposite sides are equal and the height the distance from here to here we got it how do we get it the total height here it is eight already we said and the lower height it is six take the difference eight minus six which will be two so half times two times base one plus base two means five times five plus eight here's the two cancel and five plus eight will be 13 that is area of the trapezium therefore now the area of the total region will be the rectangle area which is 48 plus the trapezium area which is 13 together 61 that's it which is found at b the next question which one of the following uh, is not equal to 12 over 5 okay we need to observe each of the choice set 6 over 15 if you multiply by 3 by 3 what will happen 12 times 3 36 and 5 times 3 will be 15 so it is the same if you multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number the result is the same as equivalent fraction so this one is equivalent equivalent to the original okay what about b let's uh, check each of them 40 uh, how 40 comes 5 times 5 it will give us 25 we know but 12 times 5 will it give us 40 no 12 times 5 is 60 so these two are not equivalent fraction we can cancel this this one is equivalent fraction okay what about uh, c c first of all we need to change this is mixed fraction we need to change it into improper 2 times 5 will be 10 10 plus 2 will be 12 12 over 5 this is the same as the original fraction which is correct and the next one you can simplify and uh, as much as you can you can cancel 0 by 0 and 24 uh, over 10 you can simplify by 2 by 2 24 divided by 2 will be 12 and 10 divided by 2 will be 5 it is the same as the original one okay a given fraction can be simplified and if it gives you the original fraction or if you multiply the original fraction by the same the numerator and the denominator by the same number if you get the result that's going to be equivalent fraction or the same fraction like that of the original so this one doesn't work it works uh, the answer will be b the next question uh, it says which one of the following uh, rational number is smallest we are looking for the smallest rational number uh, what we can do this kind of uh, fraction first of all we can change uh, each of the fraction into decimal 1 divided by 3 it is the same as 0 0.3333 but it's still negative and 2 divided by 9 you can divide and check by the way for example when you divide 2 by 9 what to do uh, you can't so 0 point and give 0 and 20 divided by 9 will be 2 times 2 times 9 18 but the remainder 2 again give 0 2 times 18 it will continue to not stop so negative 0 0.222 it will continue in this way and when you divide 3 by 10 it will be negative 0 but this time uh, we need to take care this time uh, both of them are negative so it will be 0 0.3 only because negative cancel with negative this number is positive if we are asked the largest one necessarily it will be d but we are not asked the largest which is the smallest one so this one we cannot compare with the other because this is the largest one all of them are negative this is positive positive numbers are obviously uh, greater than negative numbers so we can ignore d and let's compare the other uh, a as i told you when you divide it will be negative 0 0.333 it will not stop and b negative 0 0.222 and c negative 0 0.13 it continues so which one is the smallest in case of negative for example negative 2 negative 3 and negative 4 if i give you uh, which one is the, uh, the smallest the negative 4 the one which is having largest magnitude Ma magnitude means uh, like first of all ignore the negative ignore the negative which number is larger 4 is larger so the one which is the larger magnitude will be the smaller in case of negatives so when we are comparing negative numbers uh, the one which is the larger magnitude will be the smaller so which one is the larger from all this by ignoring the negative 3 3 or 1 3 or 2 2 obviously 3 3 because after the decimal what comes here 3 comes here after the decimal 1 comes here after the decimal 2 comes so which number is larger uh, 0 0.333 but in case of negative as i told you before the larger will be the smaller the larger the magnitude so the answer necessarily will be a this number is the smaller how comes like i told you if you ignore the negatives the larger will be this number but uh, when we are comparing we will take 
the smallest one will be in case of negative the larger the magnitude will be the smaller next question the sum of two rational numbers is four that means we can take a plus b there are two rational numbers consider the sum will be four if one of the number is two over three then the other number is so a is already given to you in place of a you can write two over three plus b is equal to four so to get b the other rational number we are asked is shifted four minus two over three then you can use crisscross four times three twelve minus two to all over three that is ten over three so the answer is found in a okay the next one is fraction first of all bracket has to be done crisscross negative three times two will be uh, negative 18 plus 1 times 2 will be 2 the whole over uh, 3 that's going to be negative 16 over 3 then the bracket part then according to board mass and now we'll multiply before multiplication change the given mixed fraction into improper 1 times 2 2 plus 1 3 3 over 2 times negative 16 over 3 then cancel by 3 diagonal we can simplify and by 2 1 this by 2 8 so the answer will be negative 8 because there is negative here don't forget it the answer will be C. The next one is linear uh, equation. So we need to remove first the bracket. The two will multiply each of them. So it's going to be 4 minus 6x. I multiply 2. Is equal to negative 2. Then these two also will multiply each of them. But don't forget the negative. It will be negative 2x plus 6. How plus 6? You know, negative times negative. Then uh, finish this one. The constant term, add it. So 4 minus 6x is equal to... Uh, when you add them, negative 2 plus 6 will be 4 minus 2x. Therefore, bring the 4 here and the 6 there. So 4 minus 4 is equal to negative 2x plus 6x. When the negative 6x goes, it will be added. 4 minus 4 will be 0 is equal to 4x. Divide by 4 both sides so that x is equal to 0. The answer will be d. The next one, in the figure below, the measure of arc ABC, where is ABC? ABC means, okay, let's use different color this time because to make it visible. Arc ABC means from A, you need to go move until here, this arc, the whole arc until here. From A, B, C, from A, you need to start and then go this direction and until this one is 240 degrees given to you. If this 240, by the way, the inscribed angle here, what you see, this angle is subtended by the arc. It is inscribed because the vertex is on the circle as you see. It will be half of it. Half of 140 will be uh, 120. Don't forget that. Then find the value of x. And again, the quadrilateral look A, B, C, and D. All of the vertex, as you see, they are on the circle. So it is cyclic quadrilateral. Okay? A, B, C, D is cyclic. If it is cyclic quadrilateral, opposite angles are supplementary. That means x plus 120 is equal to 180 degrees. Because x angle x or angle b and angle d, they are cyclic quadrilateral. Cyclic means, you know, uh, when the opposite angles are supplementary in a circle. It's a four-side figure in a circle and all the vertex must be on the circle. Then shift it, so the x value will be 60 degrees. When you shift 120, it will be subtracted. So the value of x will be 60 the next question, probability is, it says. Probability is the number of successful outcome divided by the total number of possible outcome. That's it. So the definition of probability, remember, probability of an event is the same as uh, event over sample space. Sample space means total possible state. Total possible outcome. And this one is an event. The event means successful outcomes event means success. so that the probability of outcome or the probability of an event is the same as what the number of successful outcome divided by okay we are talking about probability probability of an event is the number of successful outcome in the event divided by what the total number of possible outcome means the sample space so this is the formal definition definition of probability we need to recall the others doesn't work for example b if you say What's that? What does it say? Probability, the number of successful outcome divided by unsuccessful, it says. No. Uh, the total number of possible outcome, it says, look, the C. If you see, total number of possible outcome, no. Like the reciprocal. And D, the number of successful outcome divided by unsuccessful, the same like that of uh, the, A, the B choice. So this one doesn't work. <coughs> okay. 
Uh, the next question, what is the probability of selecting A from the collection of letters A, B, A, Q, C? So how many letters we have first of all? We need to count one, two, three, four, five letters we have. From all these five, this is the number of sample space, you know, it's five now, we got it. What about the event? The event means uh, the, the, the letters that we need to uh, choose, the desired letter, that is letter A. How many letter A's are there? Two letter A's are there. So the event will be two chance we have. So the probability of the event will be two over five. So the answer is found in B. Okay, next one. The next question, in the figure below, angle ACB and angle ADC are writing. Right angle, right angles. Where is ACB? Angle ACB, this angle, as you see, it's right angle, 90 degree. And an altitude is drawn from the 90 degree. Then which one of the following is not true? Remember, in case of right angle, okay, if an altitude is drawn from the right angle to the opposite hypotenuse, okay, the hypotenuse will be divided into two segments. This segment we can say it like uh, E and F. If the hypotenuse already like C, and the two legs maybe A and B. According to Euclid theorem, A square means the product of the adjacent segment times the whole hypotenuse. That means E times C and B square is equal to the same. Adjacent segment times the hypotenuse, that means F times C, and also the altitude H square H, H square is equal to the product of the two segments, E times F. There are different uh, rules, but for the time being, let's try to recall those and let us complete it. Okay, now C D. C D square it says where is C D? C D means the hypotenuse, I mean the altitude. C D square must be uh, AD times DB, but it says BD. BD means this one, okay, times AD. This is correct. CD means the altitude, this one, the H. H square is equal to the product of the two. This is also correct. What about B? AC square. AC square means this length. It must be AD times AB. Okay, let me uh, remove it. This is square. AC means this one. AC square means the product of the adjacent segment times the whole the adjacent segment AD times AB. It must be. That's that's correct. AB means the whole length times AD. B is also correct. Uh, the next one, C. What does it say? BC square. BC square means this is square. Okay, this is BC. It's equal to BD times BA. It should be. AB times BD, that is correct still. BD means it is the same as, yeah, it's given, and AB is the same as BA, it's okay. Okay, that, that means all of them, A, B, and C are correct, means necessarily the answer will be D, but we can check also how it's not correct. AB square, where is AB? AB means hypotenuse. This is square, it should be uh, the sum of AC square, plus, because in case of Pythagoras theorem, the hypotenuse square will be equal to the sum of the square of the two legs. AC square plus BC squared should be. But it says AC times BC is like unknown formula. So this is the answer D. Which one is not true? So which one is true and which one is not true? Uh, it has to be clear first of all. These are some of the questions, some of the selected problems from current year grade 8 national exam. I'll continue the rest of the questions solving. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to share to your friends.